What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. As you guys can read from the title below, above, or wherever the fuck you're reading it, I am going to be doing a hair review. My best friend's calling me. Brindley! I get tons of DMs on Instagram of you guys asking where I get my hair from, um, where do I buy my hair, and the tea is I typically don't really buy hair. Ever since I started my transition, um, I have been fortunate enough to get hair sent to me from companies to, you know, promote, so, um, yeah, I just haven't really bought hair, but I do try lots of new companies and new hair all the time and I do end up selling and giving away some of the hair as you guys know look out for that um I am selling units on my Instagram if you guys aren't following me on Instagram um you guys definitely should it is Jasmine Westbrook it's probably gonna be right here but um yeah just check me out on Instagram um, I decided to talk about the hair that I have been wearing currently this hair y'all she's thick i made this a wig it is 28 inches it is 28 inches but it feels like a 30 because it touches my hip when i'm sitting down and i am 5'6 so we're gonna get into all the specs of this hair right now so when i received the hair it just came in four bundles i received four bundles of 28 inches straight it is the Peruvian Mink Straight Hair. I believe so. All the links will be down in the description box below. I'm holding a lighter. I'm not about to smoke. But yeah, I got four 28-inch bundles and I got a 20-inch frontal because unfortunately they don't have longer frontals than that. And the frontal came pretty well. Really different. It like kind of like, not like an ombre. It was kind of already pre-plucked, but at the same time not. Pretty different from the frontals that I typically use, you know? But I was like, that's perfect because it just makes me do less work and I did not have to bleach this frontal as you guys can see on my head. Um, you could see where the lace starts, obviously, but that's just with the wig. I did not bleach the knots. I just plucked a little bit because I did want this wig to be a middle part wig. I like my long units to stay straight in a middle part or waved how I have it right now. But um, if I wanted to, I mean, I could pull her back and I can glue her. She really wouldn't have too much of an issue with the lace being like this. I mean, I wouldn't really have an issue because I would just slick down some baby hairs, glue her. But unfortunately, I do not glue my units down. And my phone is so I am so sorry for it. But I do not glue my units down, so that is not going to be ideal for me putting on this unit or gluing on this unit. And when I got it, it did come very, very silky, more silky than um, any bundles I have got. So that did concern me because I was like, okay, maybe when I wash the hair, um, the quality is going to change. But when I washed the hair, it did dry straight and it was perfect. I just had to pass it a couple times with a straightener and it came out A-OK. -okay. I did make a wig. This is not a unit on my head. This is kind of why we're going to be talking about how I put on my wigs because I do not glue my units. I stopped doing it about two summers ago because I went to the Billboard Music Awards and I glued it down and we we're on the red carpet and that shit. I started sweating and it slid back so I do not glue my units anymore. To be showing you the method that I do use when I wear my wigs because I no longer glue them and I don't want to get snatched. Although if somebody really does like pull this shit it will come off. Don't expect no unstoppable unit to you know stay on your head unless you're like gluing them. Bitch if you got the bolt hold maybe it will stay on but if somebody snatches me like I'm gonna come off right? So I'm just going to show you guys the unit itself. Um, Hi, Amber Rose is back. Um, this is the unit itself. I did put some curl in her. Um, you guys probably can't even see that. I just wanted to show you guys the inside of the unit because if you guys want to do the no glue method, um, I do suggest to make your wigs like this. Obviously, the standard unit and how to make a wig. Just sew your frontal onto your cap. 
Um, I still need to make a YouTube video on how I make my wigs. If you want one, comment down below because I can do that. It will just take a long time and a lot of editing. So let me know if you guys are interested in how I make my wigs because a lot of you guys ask where I get my wigs. I mainly make them with bundles and frontals. So I made my wig standard and I sew my adjustable strap. Okay, so Tamia put me on to these... Um, adjustable straps um they look like this i'm going to try and find them and link them down below so i'm going to try and find the adjustable strap that i did buy for this unit um tamia put me on to these she is a wig maker um i love her but she put me on to these and it has a kind of a rubber grip to it so when you pop your wig on and it slaps to your neck um it's going to stay because the grip is just i don't even know i don't know how to describe it all the other ones that I did find at the beauty supply didn't work. So this is a tutorial now. You put the frontal where you want your, you know, hairline to be. What if you want to do it like that? Be like, hello. But no, I just have mine right there. I know, don't clock me. I do make my forehead smaller. But you're going to grab that strap and pull her all the way to the back of your neck and ooh, i'm tender headed comment down below if you are too but i'm just trying to put this wig on for you guys and ooh, she's looking mad big pull that bitch down brush her out with your fingers or use a brush i mean this is the most um efficient way for me especially because i'm lazy ass bitch and when you want to throw on a wig you want to throw on a wig you don't want to use glue that's probably why you clicked on this video but that is how I typically put all my units. A lot of people are going to be like, bitch, that's not going to stay on your head. But for me, I can like swing it around a couple times. I'm not going to do no backflips on camera. So it's not going to stay on if you do a whole somersault, bitch. It's not going to work. But it's going to work if you run around or if you're going to a party and you want to keep your wig secured, snatched, and safe. I would give it a 9.5. The only reason I would not give it a 10 is because it doesn't hold a curl. Because when it says it's mink straight, like, girl, she she just, like, doesn't really want to hold a curl. And it's probably because the unit is so long. It is 28 inches. And the heaviness probably pulls it down. I don't know. Their bundles are so thick. And I'm not even trying to, like, hype it up. Their bundles are thick, but their frontals, uh, they can do some work on them. I'm not going to give them all the credit in the world, but I do truly recommend this company. And um, I'm going to be buying from them as well because I do want to check out their blonde ones. And I'm sure they're not going to send me no more hair because uh, I just don't ask, you know. I just wait till they come to me, you know. So I'm just probably going to pick up some of their blonde hair because I do want some 30 inch blonde hair but i hope they have it i know they have 28 inch comment down some colors that you guys want me to do any colors um blue green purple i want to do this color but it's getting played out make sure you guys click the link down in the description box below if you do want to check out this hair i will put the links to the company down below so you guys can check out all of their hair they have wigs weaves bundles frontals more all that you need so i'll just have that all down below but if you guys did find this helpful, um, I know it was kind of a, you know, quick and simple hair put on tutorial because this is literally what I do to go out. Um, it's just, I'm being real. Like, I'm letting you know, I'm not going to glue my wig down if I don't want to. But if you guys did enjoy it, please give it a big thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already. But without further ado, I love you guys with all my heart, peace, love, and dildos. Bye, guys.